Hey guys, it's Kay Brown. I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Voice. So I already have my app open, and this is what it says whenever you very first log in. You are going to need to sign in with Apple ID. The email address is kbrown at monetschools.org and your password is monet16 with a capital M. It's going to ask you to add a phone number. You just click skip. We don't need to do that. And it says it's signing in. This is good. Click OK. Got it. And we're going to create a new story. So we're just going to click the plus sign right here. What's your story about? Your story is going to be about third grade advice. You could title it something different like how to survive in K. Brown and Carter's class. But it needs to be something to do with advice. Alright, and then you're going to choose a structure. I like the idea of making up my own, so I'm going to pick this one. If it asks you to access the microphone, in order for this app to work best, you need to click OK. Alright, and then it gives you the three steps to tell your amazing story. You're going to record a line, so record your voice. Choose an icon or a photo, and then add pages. Let's get started. First, hold the first line of your story. Record it. So I'm going to hold this button down, and I am going to record my voice. Here are a few things that will help you survive the third grade. And then I can listen to it. Here are a few things that will help you survive the third grade. Isn't that nice? It has background music and everything. If you want to do it again, you can just hold it down and re-record. Otherwise, you click ready. Alright, now I'm going to tap the plus sign to add my photo or my text. I can choose an icon, a photo, or text. So let me show you what an icon is. To search for an icon, I'm going to search something like school. Look at all those icons. Hmm. I like this school. It downloads it for you, and there it is. Now here's my first page. Here are a few things that will help you survive the third grade. And then right here, I can tap to add another page. And I do the same thing. I can add a photo this time. I could take my own picture or use one from my iPad. I have to select OK so it can look at my pictures. And let's see. I'm going to choose... Oh, here's a picture of me. I'll add this one. Now you can see it. The best way to make Miss K. Brown happy is to always use your manners. That may not be true. There's lots of ways to make me happy, but that's a great example. Let me listen to that. Here are a few things that will help you survive the third grade. The best way to make Miss K. Brown happy is to always use your manners. Do you see how easy this is? Okay, let's add another page. It says double tap the black area to go back to editing. My video is not done, so I'm going to go tap, tap. Alright, now I want to show you how you can change the way your book looks. So you have layout, themes, and music. I'm going to click on music. 
Right now it's playing ukulele stroll, which is perfect for me because I love the ukulele, but there's a lot of other music you can choose. Maybe we want a happy song like Leapfrog. Oh, this is some intense music. Okay, you can also change the themes. Here's a blue one. Oh, that looks great. Yellow? Oh, lights. That's good. Oh, look at this, the mountains. Okay, and then you can also change your layout. You can have one thing on a page, two things on a page. I can make my photo a full screen photo. I could have two things, and then over here I could add something else, like my text. Mrs. K. Brown. Oh, lovely. That looks excellent. Okay, so there's lots of ways for you to customize your page. And then just keep adding pages until you are done. And then whenever you are done, you'll click this button right here. I realize maybe you can just now see that layout themes and music is up here at the top. Sorry about that. And then we're going to pick how we're going to share our video. We are just going to, we're going to keep it public so that people can see it. And we'll click this clipboard right here. Whenever you click on the clipboard, it just copies a link to your iPad. And click share. Oops. Pick a category. This is for education. Now I'll click share. Please wait while we prepare your video. And then we'll have the link on our clipboard. And the great thing about having the link on the clipboard is then we can open Seesaw and all we have to do is click paste. And it will pop right in there. Make sure you do not close this screen or else it won't upload. So don't click cancel and don't click your home button either. All right, success. Your video is ready to share. So it's added to our clipboard. I can click done. Um, no thanks. I'm not going to read it right now. All right, I am going to open Seesaw, though. Seesaw. And show you how to put this on Seesaw. All right, so now I have my Seesaw loaded. So I will add my link. I'm going to click this button right here that says link. And I don't have to do anything. As soon as I click the link button, Seesaw automatically puts that link in there for me. See? Voice.adobe. That's what you just made. So cha-ching. Yes, that's what I want. And look, there it is. Awesome. It's beautiful. Check. I'm going to send that to everyone. Sorry, K. Brown's class. You just have some junk now. Okay, go and make your story better than mine. I'd love to see it on Seesaw.